I'd just like to ask you a few questions regarding to the shakeout. Um, how is your, or how are you connected to the USGS shakeout scenario, earthquake shakeout scenario? Well, we began at the very beginning with this uh, correlation and relationship with USGS by asking the Geological Survey to come up with a realistic, uh, a robust but realistic scenario of what could happen here in Southern California if there was a major earthquake along the San Andreas Fault. Uh, we are in charge of putting on a an exercise to test first responder capabilities. We needed the science to actually make that plan happen, and that's where the USGS came in, and that's where the partnership began. Great. Can you describe a little bit more about how science is helping your organization, the state of California, be more prepared for earthquakes? Well, you don't want to go through a, a training exercise, uh, first of all, for naught. Secondly, without some kind of realistic basis for it to find out how you're responding, what's working, what may need some improvement, and you need the scientific factual foundation to do that. If you have that science in place, if you know where the areas are that are going to be more likely to need first responder services, that's where the science comes in. If you're just sort of putting something out as a blanket and sending first responders everywhere, that's not realistic and that's not going to give the people of California and the people of the, the United States of America the best bang for the buck when it comes to emergency response. So tell me a little bit about if you had a key message to deliver or two or three key messages to deliver to the public about science and its usefulness or about the shakeout, what would it be? Well, first and foremost, the message is preparedness. I mean, we're in partnership with your organization and a lot of other organizations to, to make first responders more prepared and to make the general public more prepared for any kind of natural or man-made disaster. And if families can have family preparedness kits, be ready to take care of themselves and their family and their neighbors for 72 hours for their, for their pets to have the kind of medication on hand, that frees up the first responders to do their job and to save lives. So you, in essence, at home, your family, your family preparedness plan can help save lives, not just yours, but those of the people in your community. And to have all of these different venues coming together, people from the scientific community, people from the first responder community, and people from uh, the general public in, in a public awareness campaign all coming together on the same message the same theme of we're in this together let's prepare together and and we'll all be better off at the end of the day because of it great is there any inspirational moment that you what's what are you most proud of with the shakeout and everything I'm very proud of how all the organizations are coming together on this same theme, the same message that we're in this together, let's be prepared. Preparedness is the key. And this has come from, from the leadership on down, from my boss, Governor Schwarzenegger, and Homeland Security Director Matthew Bettenhausen, from people like uh, the various mayors and, and county supervisors in the region, from uh, Secretary, Interior, Secretary of the Interior Dirk Kempthorne. Uh, who, who provides fantastic leadership and is a good friend uh, with California. He and the, and the governor were governors together for a while. So these kind of relationships, both personal and professional, have just been very rewarding to see and I'm, I'm, I'm real excited to see the outcome of this event. Great. Is there anything I forgot to ask that you'd like to add? I think we've covered it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.